the surgeon looked at me and he's like, hey, man, if you can stay awake for five more minutes, I'll promise you your life. And I was like, deal, anything you got to do, like, just stay away. And they pulled me into the operating room and the way they grabbed me, I just, at that point, I kind of realized like how much was not left of me. I was like, damn, I'm jacked up, you know? You can just hear like all these like packaging getting ripped open. You can hear them fire up the saw and you're like, hey, put that thing away, you know? And all of a sudden this guy came over this, and all of a sudden I realized I was an anesthesiologist and he's trying to put this damn mask on me. And I just keep shaking my head and he's like, what are you doing? You know, I'm like kind of dodging him, you know? And I was like, bro, I had a bet with this guy for five minutes. No, I can't see a clock. I like, I'm, right yeah like i'm sticking this one out you know <laughs> all of a sudden the guy came over and he's like hey man your five minutes is up like you killed it like you can go to sleep the lady goes hey you can start counting back from 10 and i thought you know fuck you like that is not the last thing i'm thinking of as i roll out of this place because yeah. i didn't know if i was ever gonna wake up again you know and i was like i don't want like <laughs> you know like i can just be like oh way to go jack like you know you're in heaven i was like way to go bud your last thought was, was one, one. So i started trying to think all the greatest things